All right, AP Physics C, here we go. This is uh, 1987 M1, this is Horner, and we're looking at this kid that is being pulled back by a parent. Um, and so we're going to go ahead and draw a line straight down. This would be the MG for that kid. We know that we have tension in the line here, and then we have the horizontal force by the person that's pulling that kid back is FH. You get three points for doing this diagram. It's really important to do the diagrams because without them you would have a lot of trouble trying to figure out what's going on. The other thing that we have here is we could do some components and um, so we're going to do the two components here. This angle theta is the same as this angle theta so those really don't change at all. Uh, what we'll do is we're going to solve for the tension in the rope. So the first thing that we need to do here is let's do the sum of the forces in the x and the sum of the forces in the y direction. And we're going to define y as going up. We're going to define x as going to the right uh, for the positives. Sum of the forces in the x is 0. Sum of the forces in the y is also 0. So let's look at all the forces in the x and the y. This side of this triangle is t times the sine of the angle. Because notice our angles here, this is the opposite side. This would be t cosine of the angle on this side right here. So if we're doing the x's, notice that we have t cosine of the angle minus fh is equal to 0. And on this side, we're going to have, um, oops, I did that wrong. This is really not t cosine of the angle. Uh, this one is actually going in the x direction. We want t sine of the angle, sorry about that, minus fh is equal to 0. And in the y's, we have t cosine of the angle minus mg is equal to 0. So uh, they really just want us to find the tension in the rope. mg here is w. And so because they want it in terms of w and the angle, we can't use this equation. Instead, we're going to use this equation. So we're going to say this is really t cosine of the angle minus w is equal to 0. So t cosine of the angle is equal to w. And the cosine is just a function, so you don't have to worry about it being in that list there. So this would be t is equal to w all over the cosine of the angle. Uh, so at this point, we would get two points, one for this equation, one for this one, uh, and then um, we'd probably end up with a point or so for this. Uh, it's kind of weird because in the answer key, what they did is they gave it seven points. So this is three. Um, more than likely, you got uh, two points here. So that's five. And then uh, they didn't worry too much about what you did down here until you got to part B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and move all this. And it wants to know the horizontal force exerted by the adult. So we're going to solve for FH. But remember, we can only do this with W and with the angle. So uh, we're going to take what we have right here and we're going to substitute it in to the t that we see here. So let's do this in a slightly different color. We've got w over the cosine of the angle times sine of the angle minus fh is, oops, fh, not fx, but fh is equal to 0. So our fh is going to be equal to w, and then sine over cosine is tangent, tangent of the angle. So this is where uh, you're going to get your other uh, other point. So you really probably get a point for having this guy and then using this back into this equation in order to get the FH is equal to W tangent of the angle. So far, part B is really one point and then your, um, your part A was most likely six points. So just really kind of a strange way for this to happen. Uh, but that's how they did it that year, and that's what we're going to stick to. For uh, the next part, this one says part C, the adult releases the swing from rest. They want to know in terms of W and the angle again, the tension of the rope just after the release. So to find the tension in the rope just after the release, notice we no longer have 
the gentleman holding or the lady or whoever it is holding on to the swing. So we can draw a new diagram. This would be the tension. And then we have a component, a vector going straight down, which is W. Uh, from this point, we need to solve for the tension again using just W and the angle. So um, let's actually make uh, the tension in the direction that we want. So if that's correct, we need to draw a perpendicular line that helps us draw a perpendicular and a parallel line to W. And this angle theta was the same angle that we had when we had this angle theta. So notice that those two are the same. So this side of the triangle is most likely going to be T times the cosine of the angle. And this side is T times the sine of the angle. So at this point, now we can solve for the tension. The sum of the forces in uh, this direction, so we're going to call that direction positive perpendicular. Uh, some of the forces in the perpendicular direction should equal zero because its, its swing is instantly at rest, instantaneously. So it's just after release. It's not really gone anywhere yet. Uh, so we're going to have T going in the positive minus, notice we have T cosine of the angle. Oops, that's not T. That's really W. So that's really W. Sorry about that. This would be W cosine of the angle is equal to zero. So T is really just equal to W cosine of the angle. Um, the last thing they want us to do is find the tension in the rope as it just swings through the very bottom. So in order to do that, uh, you're going to need to use a little bit of uh, what we remember from before, uh, from last year, which is the centripetal force or centripetal acceleration, which is V squared all over R. We can only do part of this problem because um, we're going to have a little trouble. We know that the sum of the forces here should be equal to M times AC, which is the centripetal acceleration. So if we think about it, we remember that we had, um, when uh, it's passing through its lowest point, now we don't have this diagram anymore. Now we have a very simple diagram. We've got tension going up. We have weight going straight down. And this thing is moving in this direction. So it has a velocity. And that velocity uh, is always changing. So it's actually, uh, we do have an acceleration there, which is centripetal. It's pointing towards the center. So now we can say T minus W should be equal to mass times that centripetal acceleration. And at this point, we can say T minus W is equal to M times V squared all over, and then L is our length. Uh, at this point, we have to stop because we don't know conservation of energy yet. We've not been through energy. So at this point, you would only get two more points. One of those points would come from this AC is equal to V squared over R, and the other one would be from the expression that we have here. And at that point, we're going to stop with this problem.